Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, Hi. everyone. Good evening. Welcome good to evening. your class. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, thank you. Yes? Yes. And me? And you? <laughs> thank you. I'm fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Are you ready? Are you ready to practice yes. your English? Yes. Are you yes. ready to keep learning, keep practicing? Okay, let's start. Let's start with the little recap from yesterday's class. What do you remember from yesterday's class? We saw simple present statements. Do you remember? Simple present statements. Can you say affirmative statements? Simple present. Can you say affirmative statements? Uh -huh. Do you I remember? Do my Sorry? I work to the work. Thank you. I walk to work. You can say to, to work. work or you can say to my work. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Somebody else? Sorry? My name? No, no, no. Um, give me another example. Give me another example, guys. Um, he rides rides bike to the school. Did you say did you say he rides a bike to school? Yes. He rides a bike to school. Third person, thank you for your participation. Somebody else? Affirmative statements. Affirmative statements in simple present. He goes to the church. Correct. He goes. Say goes. Repeat go. Third person, goes. Goes. He goes to church. Repeat, he goes to church. Good, third person, thank you, Candy, right? You can add more information, uh, Candy. He goes to church on Sundays, for example. He goes to church with his family every day, you know? Giving additional information, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Somebody else, affirmative statements. Hello? Come on, come on, come on. Affirmative. Um, he writes, he bikes to a school. Thank you so much, Karen. Did you say he writes his bike to school? It's correct? Correct. He rides his bike to school. So, so he rides his bike to school. He goes by bike. He goes around by bike. Very good. Very good. Okay. We're not going to use I. No more I. No more he. No more I. No more he. Other subjects. They take the bus for the work. To At work. work. To work. Yes. They take the bus to work. They take the bus to work every day, perhaps. Okie dokie. Somebody else? Thank you. Other victim. I'm sorry. Other participant. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Somebody is speaking to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. You ride a bike every day. It's true. 
I ride a bike every day. I told you yesterday. Ha, you paid attention. Woohoo! Nice, 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 nice. Okay. No more I, no more you, no more he, no more they. We? Uh -huh. We walk to the supermarket. Uh, um, um, on Sunday? On Sundays. In night. Repeat, on Sundays. On Sunday. Eh, oh, le agregamos okay. S como que lo hacemos general porque yeah. en el tiempo presente, guys, es para hablar de rutinas. Ok, entonces okay. estamos hablando de todos los domingos. Entonces, on Sundays. On Sundays. Yeah. Yes. Ox. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Ok, no more we. No more we. No more day. No more he. No more you. No more I. She drive a car to the store to shop for food. Could you could you repeat, please? She drives a car to the store to a shop for food. Yes. One like, one, two, like. Good job. No sé si captaron la tercera persona, la pronunciación. Congratulations, sir. I understand very well. Good job. Okay, no more affirmatives, negatives. Negatives, okay? Pueden usar todos los subject pronouns. Uh -huh. Negative statements, simple present. Doesn't walk. Can you repeat, please? He doesn't walk. Uh, where? Uh, at work. To work. To work. Can you repeat? He doesn't walk to work. Correct. Correct. Pronunciation? Doesn't. He doesn't walk to work. Okay. Good job. Negative. Give me negatives. Give me negatives. Come on. I, I don't, I do not, I don't live not. with my parents. I don't live with my parents. I understand. I don't live with my parents. Excellent. Next. I do not use a taxi. Uh, I do not. I do not use a taxi. Eso es correcto, taxi. Miss. Aunque I cuando usted lo dice así, es como que usted está como queriéndolo re, re, sal, remarcar, digamos. Quizás está como molesta. Usted dice, I do not take a taxi, ok, como clarifying something. Normally vamos a usar eh, la contracción, ok, don't, 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 I don't take a taxi. Can you repeat, Miss Karen? I do not I don't use a taxi. Don't repeat, I a taxi. don't. I don't use a taxi. Good. Good, that's a negative, okay? Good job. Somebody else? Go. My boyfriend doesn't take a bus because he has a car. Awesome, awesome. Okay, you're giving a negative example and you're giving additional information. Congratulations. No corrections, no observations. My students are so intelligent, okay? Give me two more examples and we start the class. Two more examples. She doesn't drive, go to the school. Wait, wait, drive or go? Only one verb, okay? <laughs> you repeat. Um, she, doesn't she doesn't drive to work. To work. Okay, she doesn't drive to work. Aha, uh -huh, because you said she doesn't drive, go. So uh, I was a little confused. So it's one principal verb, okay? So she doesn't drive to work. So she takes a different transportation. All right, excellent guys. Congratulations, you are very, very smart. I'm very, very excited with you. Let me go ahead and um, share my screen now.
and let's check today's objective. Please confirm if you can visualize my screen. Can you visualize my screen? Please confirm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, where is this? Okay, give me one sec. Okay, let me see. Um, we're supposed to be seeing today's objective. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna try to pull you up right here. Give me one second. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, Jessiel, help me, Jessiel. Help me reading the objective, today's objective. Go ahead. Uh, no puedo visualizar la pantalla. No. Eh, tiene una mancha. Está gris la pantalla. Se ve la, la pantalla de la combo, pero no lo que está presentando. Ok, ok, ok. One sec, one sec. We're going to try. borroso también. Ok, we're going to try one more time. One more time. We're going to celebrate. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous, people. Don't panic. <laughs> ok. Now, how about now? Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Can you see it nice, good, or a little nice. bit bad? Okay, okay, so, okay. So. <laughs> so, okay, let me try to zoom it. Maybe that helps. Okay, maybe. Hopefully that's better. I hope so. Your internet. <laughs> is, it, is it my internet? What do you mean my internet? It's your internet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it may be, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, lately internet is not working well anywhere because of the storms. By the way, it's raining in some places now in El Salvador, right? Is yes. it raining in your area? Yes. Yes? Okay, cool. Okay, so, Jessiel, can you read? Can you see now my screen, Jessiel? Yes. Okay, can you help us with the objective, please? Um, uh, lesson object. By, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statement using irregular verbs. Okay. You will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. So it's the same, it's the same, right? Simple present statements, but uh, we're going to uh, use irregular verbs, okay? So remember that in English, in the English language, okay, we have irregular verbs, we have regular verbs, we have phrasal verbs. So you have to know all of them, right? To be a, a good uh, bilingual, a high level bilingual, okay? So we're going to study uh, irregular verbs pretty much. Let me go with the next slide and uh, you'll see now a video. Here we go. Please let me know if you can watch and listen well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Present statements there you go. using irregular verbs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's 
analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs have, do, and go will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now, it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. There you go. Okay. Any question? English, we have two types of all the verbs that exist in the English language. Okay, um, irregular verbs are very important. Now, these are only three. These are only three um, of many verbs, right? These are three very common verbs in the English language. Okay, have. Please pronounce have. Pronunciation, have. And what's the third person of have? I'm sorry? Oh. Has. Remember, it's, it's a special because has, has is a special, okay? Have is a special. No es como los demás que les agregamos S o, o ES, ¿verdad? Él tiene su propio tercera persona que es has, okay? Now, the verb do, do, no. what is the third person? Does. No. Das. Das. Okay. And now the verb go. What's the third person? Go. 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 Goes. 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 Okay. Goes. Good. 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 First example. First example. Um, I have a bike. It's it's possession. Talking about possession. I have a bike. Yes. Have have expresses expresses possession or responsibility okay possession or responsibility for example i have to work yes i have to work so that's a responsibility i have to uh, send an email I have to send an email, yeah? I have a house, okay? And the third person has. For example, my father has a car, okay? Do and does, go and goes. 
Okay, any questions so far? So far so good. Eh, si sí sé que se ve borroso, guys, puede ser por el internet connection. Recuerden que ustedes tienen acceso a estos videos, right? Ustedes accesan a su plataforma y ustedes lo pueden ver en su free time. Aquí yo solo les voy aquí como que guiando un poquito, ok? So, let's move on. Can you give examples using have? Ok, for example, I have a motorcycle. Ok, vamos a ver Karen Villegas. Transfer my example in third person. Uh, he has a motorcycle. Fantastic. It's your turn. Say one example using have and choose one classmate. Puede decirnos uno usando have? Ms. Villegas. I have um, possession or responsibility. Remember, I have a call my mom. I have to call my mom. I Repeat, have, guys. I have to call my mom. I have to call, to call my, mom. my mom. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Class, can you transfer that in third person? She has to call her mom. Correct. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me see Anna Jansi. Uh, well, Anna Jansi, I don't see your camera, but let's see who else here. Maria Garcia, give us an example using have. Attention, guys. So you transfer it in third person. Okay. Mm hmm Using have, Maria. Activate your microphone, please. I can't hear you. We have a, a car. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You understand, right, guys? Can you transfer that in third person, please? Volunteers? Third person? They have a car. Well, they have a car. It's a still plural, right? Uh, I want to know. But she said we. Yeah, she said we. Yeah, it's plural. But I'm asking you to try a third person. Can you try a third person? She have a car. I'm sorry? She have a car. Has. Have or has? She has, has. a car. Correct. Remember, you make like a little switch when you talk about he, she, it, you put the verb in third person, okay? Okay, let's go with do. Do is for action, activities, okay? We do our homework, we do exercise, we do gymnastics, we do yoga, okay? And the third person does. Practice those verbs, similar with these examples, please. And let me, see, let me see, let me see what else here. Okay, let's practice with go. Let's practice a little bit with the verb go. What is the third person of the verb go? Goes. I'm sorry? Goes. Goes. He goes to a school. He goes to the school in the morning, for example. He goes to the school. Yes, he goes to the school. Okay, excellent. Third person. Can you give more examples? She go, ha, she go walk to the park. She goes to work. I'm sorry. She goes to walk. walk. To walk. Let me chat to it. Walk. At the park. Let me chat it. She goes. Eh, goes. Se usa más común eh, take, a, take a walk. Take a walk in the park. 
es como tomarse un, una caminata, right? Como, como like a relaxation activity. She goes to take a, um, wait, 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 wait. I have a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm missing something there. One second. She goes to take a walk. Así sería, chicos. She goes to take a walk in the park. Repeat. She goes to take a walk in the park. She goes to, goes take, to a take a walk in the, park. in the park. Yeah. Esa preposición tú siempre en medio de dos verbos. Okay. No pueden ir dos yes. verbos base así juntitos. No, no, no. That's a no, no. That's a no, no. Okay. She goes to take a walk. Take a walk in the park. Okay. Where do you go on weekends? Where do you go on weekends? Uh -huh. On weekends, Saturday and Sunday, where do you go? I go to the church. Uh, on Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. On Sundays. Okay. On Sunday, I go to the church. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. So she goes to church on Sundays. Repeat. She goes to church on Sundays. She got this. She goes. Repeat. She goes. She goes. To she, goes. she goes. She goes to church, church on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. 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 A los demás verbos se les agrega s. Okay. Se les agrega es. Se les agrega ies. So be careful. Estos solo son tres verbos, right? Eh, no terminaríamos eh, pronto si viéramos todos los verbos, right? Entonces, ustedes lo que tienen que hacer es, pues, estudiar, ¿verdad? Una lista de verbos, right? Y se los aprendiendo, expandiendo su conocimiento, right? La clave para aprender inglés es to, to memorize many verbs, many verbs as possible. So you have different ways to express yourself. Okay. Any question? A ver, antes de pasar al demás, hagamos una pequeña práctica con eso de las third persons. I know it's a little confusing topic. It's a little confusing topic. Okay. I will say I will say the base form and you will say the third person. Okay? Try to try how we're doing. Ready? For example, have. What is the third person? Has. 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 For example, do. What's the third person? Does. 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 Pronunciation. Das. das. Okay. Go. What is the third person? Das. Das. Goes. Sorry? Goes. 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 Ghost. Ghost. Es un fantasma, so be careful. Do you believe in ghosts? It's, that's, that's a scary. Okay, so be careful with your pronunciation. Pronunciation is goes. He goes, she goes, my father goes, my teacher goes, my boss goes. Yes, etc. etc. Next verb, next verb. Call. Call. Calls. Calling. Third person, third person. Calls. 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 Can you chat it? Can you chat it? How do you spell it? How do you spell calls? C-A-O-L-L. -L. -L. With the third person. C-A-L-L-S. Correct. C-A-L-L-S. Calls. Okay. Calls. Next. The verb is understand understands understands understand understands 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 
Very well. Understand. The verb is work. 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 The verb is need. 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 I'm sorry. Need. Need. Guys, alguien me tiene interferencia por ahí? One second. Por ahí, por ahí. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bueno, sigamos con este drill que está interesante. Um, want. 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 Very well. Want. Very well. Answer. Answer. Answers. 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 Excellent. Answers. 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 Ask. 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 You know what is ask? ask. A-S-K. You know what it is? Ask. 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 ¿Quién se sabe ese verbo? Preguntar. Ask. Excelente. Ask. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? A ver. Ask. 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 <ríe> Excelente. Ask. Ask. She asks me a question ask. every class. Ask. <ríe> She asks me a question every class. Right? Excellent. Ok. A todos los que acabamos de decir, solo les agregamos S. Eso es como el 60% de los verbos irregulares. Right? Vamos con otra tanda. Ok. Next round. Next round. Ok. Watch. 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 Como, oh, wishes. como desear, excelente. Wishes. 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 My mother washes my clothes. 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 No, es un ejemplo. No es un ejemplo, right? It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> washes is the third person. Okay. Repeat. Fix. F I X. Six. Fix. 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 What's the I mean, meaning of six. fix? Fix. What's the meaning of fix? Reparar. 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 Excelente. The person is fixes. 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 The mechanic fixes the car for me. Yes? Yes, okay. I pay money to him. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Kiss. Kiss. Kisses. 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 Pass. Girls. Pass. Pass. Passes. 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 Passes the street, right? Passes. Passes something, right? Hand to hand. All right. Entonces a todo eso le agregamos es. Last round, last round, okay, for example, cry. What is the word? Cry. 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 The baby? Cry. Baby cries. 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 All night. The baby cries. Cries. Yes. Okay. Um. Right. Study. 
Studies. Very well, guys. Esos verbos terminaban con Y y precedida con una consonante, por eso cambiamos el Y por una I latina, right? I y agregamos ES. Okay, that's a little practice. Eh, I hope you continue practicing. Congratulations. Veo que muchos de ustedes tienen ahí mucho conocimiento de muchos verbos. That's very, very nice. One more time, one more time. Remember to have your cameras activated, people. Um, let me see here. Okay, let's go with the next objective. Next objective tonight. Let me see. Fabiola, help us. Reading, please. Objective. Okay. Solo lo voy a acercar un poco porque no veo. <laughs> okay. Bye. Será, será que lo hago más grande, miss? Um, yes. Así está bien. Rosso, yo veo rosso. By, by the end of this class, of this class, you will be able able to perform simple present questions addition uh, additionally additionally you will practice a, convert a conversation about daily routine daily routine which illustrates mm -hmm. how how this, how this topic is used in real life setting thank you so much so you will be able to form questions we know affirmatives we know negatives okay it's time to see questions in present simple okay yo we're gonna tengo, learn yo, questions yo, um, yes yo you have yo, a question yo estuve, yo estuve in Britannic English Y es como que más complicado, entonces yo paso bien, um, me cuesta entender varias cositas porque estuve en la Academia Europea y mi maestra era británica, entonces, y yo hay palabras que yo las pronuncio porque ahí las pronunciábamos como, como se escribe, se pronuncian en británico, entonces es como, por ejemplo, city, no se dice city, sino que se dice city, así. Oh, yes, yes, it's correct. The accent is different. Ajá, entonces yo, por eso me da como nervios. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> right? Something like that. Sí. They really stress the letter T. Yes, it's correct. Um, it's okay, miss. It's okay. It's correct. It's just a different accent. It's just a different accent, but it's, it's still correct. Okay, so we're gonna learn questions anyways. Let's move on. Let's move on. Here we have a video about it. Okay, let me just zoom it. Guys, um, if it's not shown perfectly, please be patient. Remember, you have access to this information in the platform as well. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions. At 10 o'clock. Okay, check the conversation, please. I don't know if you can visualize the conversation. Do you have any question, any word unfamiliar to you? Any 
word that you don't know in the conversation? No, you have no questions? No question. No, no questions. No. Okay, no. great, great, great. Let's practice this conversation, please. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Amy's role and my students will interpret Jack's role. Are you ready? Please, if you have um, noise in the background, don't activate your microphone, okay? But if you are in a silent place, yes, you can repeat with me. Um, ready? Yes. You start, you start. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go to the let's car. To the bar. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Okay. But yes. let's go in the afternoon. It's very, it's, I sleep podría late. Ampliar, podría ampliar la pantalla un poco más. Porque no se, no se alcanza a No se puede porque es el, es el video. Lo tengo como en pausa. Ah. Ok. Pero recuerde que. Right, esta información lo que puedo hacer es darle como una picture acá. And, and sí, the... de, 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 no sé si se puede la... Pero intente usted ampliar la pantalla. ¿Se puede? Acá. Poner la full screen. Here. Esa creo que es la velocidad del video, teacher, pero puede enviar una captura de pantalla al grupo de WhatsApp. Ajá, ajá, eso quería hacer. Tío. O ponerla acá mismo en el chat. Como llamada también se puede ampliar la pantalla de nosotros. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Let me see. Oh, sí se ve bien. Perfect. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what is the meaning of what is the meaning of get up? Levantarse. Thank you. Okay, I still, I still picture, okay? Um, what's the meaning of breakfast? Desayuno. Thank you, okay. What's the meaning of weekends? Semana. Weekends. Día de semana. Día de la semana. Um, Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Y ojo que tiene la S ahí, weekends, quiere decir que son todos los fines de semana. All right. Ok, excellent, excellent. How do you say, how do you say servir in English? Serve. Serve. Repeat. Serve. 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 Good. Serve. Good pronunciation, Serve. guys. Ready to practice? Ready to practice? Yes. Okay. William? Yes. Everyone? Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Ouch. Okay, okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Oh. Come on, students. Come on. Okay. That's it. What time do you get up on Sundays? Okay, okay, okay. And then, Only William and is repeating. I need everybody to repeat, okay? I need everybody to repeat. Wow. Okay? Wow. Remember that you are Jack. You are Jack. Students are Jack. Teacher Kalev is Amy, okay? Ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park on Sunday. On okay, let's go in the afternoon because I sleep late on weekends. What time, what time do you get up, you get up on, on Sundays? Sunday? Sundays? Sundays? Sundays. 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 At 10 o'clock. Oh, 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 that's no. early. That's early. On Sunday, on Sunday I, get I get up at home. home. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have very five every day. Every day. I have or I have? I have. I have, I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Repeat right. breakfast. I breakfast. I have breakfast. I have breakfast every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> okay. Then 
Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, we're gonna make a switch there, okay? Uh, teacher Kalev will interpret Jack's role and all students will interpret Amy's role. What's your pronunciation? Okay, siempre que exista una corrección, no se tiene que pues, considerar esa corrección, tomar nota, etc. Para ya no cometer ese error, okay? So, here we go. Guys, let's, let's go to the park on go. Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. What time do you get up on Sundays? At, At the o'clock. Okay. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then, then let's meet the at the restaurant, restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. They service breakfast or they serve yes. breakfast? They, yes, they serve they breakfast. breakfast all day. Okay. okay. Going back to Amy's question, when Amy asks, do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Okay, 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 good. I have a question for you guys. I have a question for you. Um, for example, um, what time does Jack get up? What time does Jack get up? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. He? I think a clutch. He? I need a complete answer. He? Ah. Uh, at tea at noon. He? He got up at 10 o'clock. He got up at noon. At noon. Are you sure? He get up yes. or the third person? He gets up. He gets up. He gets, he gets up. up. Oh, Remember? He gets up. He gets at up at noon. Okay, 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 okay. What time does Amy get up? She she gets up. I'm sorry? Thank you. She gets up at so 10 o'clock. Okay, ojo. ¿A dónde vamos a poner la tercera persona? ¿En get o en la preposición up? Yes. Get. Guys, ¿qué es esa interferencia? Oh my gosh, mis oídos. My ears. <laughs> One moment, please. One second, ahí, guys. Okay. Ahí estamos. Creo que no sé si soy yo. Okay. Um. Okay. Anyways, anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. Um. Question. Question. Um. What is their plan? What is their plan? Go to the park on Sunday. Correct. That is their plan. Amazing. Congratulations. Okay. Check the video out. Let's continue. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get <laughs> up at noon. Lo he puesto, um, Do you eat checking. breakfast then? <laughs> sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Okay, they serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Guys, in simple present questions, the auxiliaries are do and does. Das. Those are the auxiliaries. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa que lo vamos a usar para hacer las preguntas? Okay, pay attention on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, 
and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Okay, let's stop right there. This is easy, guys, if you uh, try to find the logical part, okay? Do, we use do with I. You say, do I? Repeat, do I? I. In a question. In a question. Es como que yo estoy haciendo una pregunta de I mí mismo. O, o estoy hablando con mi conciencia, right? O no sé. Quiero saber si ustedes específicamente saben algo de mí, right? De la primera persona. Do I speak English? Do I speak English well? Do I... Yes, do I, I do. Yes. Yeah. Sería, yes, you do. Do. Yes. Sí, tú sí lo haces, ok? No, yes. you don't. Yes. Negativo, ajá. Entonces, do I, repeat, do I? Do, do I. I. Do I. Y preguntas, do you? Do you? Do you? Aquí do sí, you? es más común, right? Do, uh, do you speak do English? I? Right? Do you, do, yeah. do you understand? Do you understand uh, what I'm saying? Yes. Do, do you, you speak you? English? Repeat, do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Okay. Um, repeat, do we? You do understand? We? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Y luego necesitan... We, un verbo, ok, acuérdense que es un auxiliar, ok, auxilia a un verbo. Do we like pasta? Do we like pasta? Yes, do we you do. Car? Yes, sorry? We do. do you car? Do we have? Do we have a car? Tienes que usar un verbo, remember? You need a verb. Do, Do we have, have a car? car? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a car? Do we no, have? Car. Oh, do you car. have? Si tú mm -hmm. tienes un carro. Do you have a car? Excellent. Do you have a car? Estás preguntándole a la segunda persona, right? Tiene usted Do un vehículo, you? right? Do you have a car? Do they? Repeat, do they? Today. Today. Estoy preguntando de un grupo de ellos, de ellas. Do they, do they come to class every day? Do they come to class every day? Yes. Yes, they do. Correct. Yes, they do. Repeat. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Repeat. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. 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 Ahora, third person singular is only does. You use does with he, she, it. Does he? Repeat. Does he? Does he? Does he, does he like ice cream? Does she like ice cream? Does she does she dance bachata music? Does she? Si preguntamos de un animal, de una cosa, de un lugar, vamos a usar that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Cost very much? Does it cost? Cuesta. C O S T. Does it cost very much? Very much. Does it. Mucho. Uh -huh. Does it speak? Imagínense, estoy hablando de una. ¿Cómo se dice? Una, un parrot. Una, un loro, right? Does it speak? ¿Qué se habla? Does it. Does it speak? Does it speak? Yes. The person, con, uh, he, she, it, we're going to use does. Okay? Ahora, tenemos preguntas que comienzan con los auxiliares. Si comienzan con los auxiliares, es un yes, no question. Okay? Practiquemos yes, no questions. Si es con do, en este caso podemos practicar do you, right? 
For example, I have a question for you. Do you cook? Yes, I do. Do you cook? Do you cook? Yes, okay. I do. Yes, I do. Las posibles respuestas son yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I don't. Es opcional si usted quiere agregarlo, right? Confirmarlo, right? Yes, I, I cook uh, very well. Yes, I cook deliciously, right? Um, do you play an instrument? Do you play an instrument? Yes, I play no, I the guitar. No, yes, no, I do. I don't. I play the guitar. Yes, Repeat, William. Yes, I do. I play yes, the guitar. I, play, I play the guitar. Piano. Okay, entonces damos la respuesta corta y podemos adicionar información. Recuerden, es sí o no. Yes, I do. No, I, I play don't. the flute. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. I play the guitar. Problema de interferencia, teacher. Sí, I know. Internet problems. Si es negativo, sería no. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. No, okay. I don't. Very well. I don't. Very well. <gasps> wow, qué rápido, guys. Ya estamos ahí. Bueno, necesito que practiquen. Please practice, guys. Practice. Eh, estudien la diferencia entre yes, no questions, que son las que comienzan acá con do o con does. Y las information questions. ¿Cuáles son las information questions? Las que comienzan con WH word. Las que comienzan con una palabra WH como what. What time. Y de ahí sigue la misma forma. El auxiliar, el sujeto, el verbo. What time do you get up? Ya es información específica ahí, ¿ok? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? Tercera persona. Y when, cuando. Ok, creo que hasta ahí nos vamos a quedar, chicos. Thank you for your participation. You rock and roll. I really like it. You're very intelligent. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, chicos? Ajá. Cuéntenme. So, so, more or less. Sí, hoy, ah. hoy me salió ya la, en la plataforma, ya comenzamos. Excelente. Okay. Acuérdense que tenemos que ir avanzando en la plataforma, right? Son tres cosas, avanzando en la plataforma, right? Activa participación, siempre participando, atentos y todo. Y pues la cámara encendida. Esos son tres requisitos en los que ustedes pues van a ser eh, evaluados prácticamente. Mm -hmm. Obviamente que con la asistencia, ¿verdad? Que es mandatorio. Ok, guys. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Tomorrow. Yes. Eh, sorry. Eh, de lo que yo le había mandado un mensaje, no sé si recuerda. Ajá, ¿qué pasó? Eh, ¿Por qué no podía encender mi cámara a veces? Sí, 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 sí. Usted, ah, pues, entonces, eso. Ajá. Este, por eso no la pude encender ahora también. Por eh, lo mismo. Eso lo Así vas a solventar ya. pronto, me imagino, ¿sí? Sí, sí, ya. Ya primero de mañana, tal vez. Ok, mañana cumplimos nuestra primera semana, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow, class. Bye, Bye. everyone. Okay, see you. Bye. See you, see you. Bye-bye. Be safe. Bye. Go to bed, Bye -bye. go to bed. Bye.